Yo, what is going on? You freshly squeezed Fralligator. After over 30 games with the Dragapult Fusion Strike deck, the only supporter I have in here is Boss's Orders. I put quite a bit of time into this deck the other day on the stream, twitch.tv slash AzulGG. I stream every day except Tuesdays. First link in the description, give it a click, give it a follow. And at the end of it all, the only supporter remaining in the deck is Boss's Orders. The only other supporter I actually ever tried in here was the Crest uh, Chilean whatever supporter with the three people with the C names that searches for three Fusion Strike Pokemon. I had a couple of those in here initially, didn't use them often enough, kind of just clogging up the deck in the late game, so I cut them all, and this is what we, the list has come down to. Let's talk about Dragapult first, if you don't know what it does, 30 damage for each Fusion Strike Pokemon in play. We only play Fusion Strike Pokemon, uh, four GP, one Dracloak, four Dragapult, and then four of Genesect V, of course, the best Fusion Strike Pokemon with the Fusion Strike system, which is our main draw engine in the deck, and the rest of it is pretty turbo, much like uh, other Fusion Strike decks, like, you know, Mew VMAX. So four Battle VIP Pass, four Cramomatic, four Fog Crystal, four Great Ball, four Quick Ball, trying to find those Genesects and Dreepies on the first turn, as many as possible. <laughs> four Rotom Phone. Uh, we do play four Power Tablet as well to get some extra damage. Uh, really good at actually helping us KO Genesects, um, believe it or not. <laughs> That's like one of the best uh, uses for tablets. We hit 180. Uh, maximum with the Fusion Strike Assault without any damage modifier. So you throw, throw some tablets in there and we're KOing Genesex. And actually our game plan against Mew VMAX is literally just to boss three Genesex and, and knock them out. That's our six prize cards. Uh, and the rest of the list, we only actually have two basic energy, but we play three Ordinary Rod and two Training Court. So we can easily find the energy with the Fog Crystals uh, by the time we need to attack and then can recover them through the Training Court or the Ordinary Rods and get the, the enough, enough energy uses uh, throughout th from those recovery cards throughout the rest of the game. So we don't actually need very many energy. It takes one energy to use the Fusion Strike Assault. So we only play two uh, and just a bunch of ways to recover them. Three Ordinary Rod because we do need to set up quite a few Dragapults and we need to constantly keep Dreepy in play to make sure we're drawing enough cards through the Fusion Strike systems and also doing enough damage with the, with the Fusion Strike Assault. So that's why we play such a heavy Ordinary Rod count because we need to constantly make sure we're recovering uh, pretty much anything that gets knocked out to be honest sometimes if they're bossing our genesex we need to recover those if we're attacking with the dragapults and they're knocking out our dragapults we got to recover the dreepies asap get those back in play make sure our next dragapult is hitting for 180 and then the genesex are drawing six cards each for their from their fusion strike systems um and like i mentioned only supporter in here four bosses orders and then we also play four air balloon as our switching cards and that's the list let's get into some games and i'll show you guys how this uh this crazy deck works all right, here we go. Win the coin flip. So we do get to go first in this first one. And Dreepy Stark got the right candy. Got a quick, got a pretty good hand here, actually, overall. Going to have some options on our next turn as well. We'll see what we're up against here. Zigzagoon for my opponents are not really giving us too much to work with. That's actually what they're playing. I'm draw a couple cards here, though. It looks like we only have one energy available to us in the deck. Let me just check that real fast just to make sure. Yeah, one energy. Looks like we also prized a Dreepy gonna get that third genesec set up yeah we got the double candy so we're gonna be looking for some dragapults as soon as possible great ball training court gonna go ahead and hold everything i think well we could draw a couple cards but if we get marnied um throw this here the thing is if they well, i like someone put it in play anyways all right let's go and throw that in play draw, draw another card don't want to lose, lose the training court though i think i'm gonna hold the training court here and then i'm Hold. Oh, we could quick ball the great ball. The great ball isn't out to a potential dragapult, so I think I definitely want to hold that. Actually, I was like thinking about quick balling it away, and just getting another dreepy, draw another card, or draw three cards to be honest. Oh, that's a lot of cards, actually. I mean, we maybe just see enough cards where it would have been worth to do it like that. Actually, to be honest, yeah, I'm not too sure if I should or should not have done it like that. Water energy from my opponent. It looks like they're probably playing. Suicune, if I had to guess. I'm going to go ahead and guess Suicune here, I guess. I actually don't know what to guess, to be honest. Suicune? <laughs> I guess we'll go with Suicune. Seems like a pretty reasonable guess here. Not a whole ton of decks. Play Water Energy. Ice Rider is also another one. I guess it could be actually Rapid Strike Urshifu, um, the Melanie build, but they usually don't play Zigzagoon. So that's why I wouldn't be too confident in it being that. Now, if it is... Suicune, though, we want to keep the train court around. I almost want to start with. I'll start with this. Does that make sense? In my head, it kind of makes sense. There's the Dreepy. I almost want to go with the Cramomatic, though. Really just want to get this. Uh... Oh, we can't draw a card yet. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Maybe I should have done it like that. How did I? Why did I do it like that? All right. Training court. Draw a card. That's fine. 
Paramatic, get rid of the quick ball. Tails, great ball. Got a dragon bolt. Candy out. A yeah, candy down. Uh, we lose the stadium though, which I was like focusing. I, I missequenced that. I messed that up a little bit there. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what I should have done. I have to go back and replay it. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Another Rotom phone. Grab myself. Probably just a fog crystal here. Draw cards. Go ahead and get another GP. Put that in play. GP. Throw that in play. Don't see a reason to boss anything. We're just gonna go ahead and KO the active here. And maybe finally get an idea of what our opponent is playing. Because there's still no real idea. So what my opponent's rocking. Get a Dragon Ball off our prize card. But like I said, I would guess... I I guess Suicune. Suicune makes the most sense. The Suicune with the Paths of the Peak. That's really why I should have held the training card, to be honest. If they are playing the Paths of the Peak, Suicune, we really do need... Uh, we only play two stadiums. And they play like four Paths of the Peak. So carrying their stadiums is definitely a priority uh <laughs> i should put on a little a little higher priority on to be honest so um but we'll see maybe they're playing something i can't yeah i really can't think of anything besides suicune though speaking with the goon the goon super nice is just like have like another pokemon because lois just playing four saw before suicune it can actually run out of basic pokemon uh pretty quickly especially if your opponent gets like an early ko on a sobble there's a bruto though all right, now I have no idea. I once again have no idea what they're playing now. The Bruno is throwing me off. Obstagoon. Oh, so it is just Obstagoon. Okay, so we got a one prizer showdown here the whole time. <laughs> okay, so we don't have to worry about Path of the Peak at all. And I'm much more excited for how this is going to go. Um, so we did get the first prize card, which is a huge deal in one prizer matchups. But my opponent uh, doesn't play any two prize Pokemon. And as you can see, we have quite a few on our bench here. So that definitely gives my opponent not an advantage but a um you know a route to victory for sure because they do do 150 with the merciless strike so get a couple quick shootings on a on a genesect and all of a sudden my opponent's looking at potentially getting you know two prizes for a couple knockouts so definitely could be close here we'll see though um yeah they got this obstacle set up they have the zigzag set up for the next obstacle we're gonna want to attack with this dreepy make this dreepy our next attacking dragapult because then it would force our opponent to actually have to find uh, another goon it probably won't be hard or they're like a quick shooting like they'll probably get it but they could whiff it so make them get it and we also see that they do play basic water energy which means they do or can attack with the shady dealings and teleon so not every obstacle goon deck uh plays the basic water energy so that really threw me off initially there i was like what is going on here but we figured it out we know what's going on and uh yeah we'll be in a pretty good spot i think so i'm gonna go ahead and ordinary rod here uh, just the Pokemon because I can training court the energy back so I can make sure I can attack for the turn and then great ball uh, grab a GP we need to find our Dracloak as soon as possible to be honest this is a matchup where we might use like all we rarely utilize like all of our Dragapults um, but we can set up six of them but it doesn't come up very often we just, just kind of don't need them so getting the Dracloak out and online as soon as possible is kind of my priority right here I feel like um Gordon phone there it is found it everything else will kind of find in due time i feel like but getting that evolved and then reusing it um yeah definitely a priority i don't think they're gonna replace my training court i think training court stayed in play for literally the whole game so i'm just gonna like burn through this stuff and uh, not worry about having to recover energy that way yeah i think they usually don't play stadium cards if i remember uh correctly from the last couple times i've played against obstagoon so yeah we get the knockout with this uh dragon ball on purpose here because we don't want to you know allow our opponent to um you know make it a little bit harder for our opponent to get the knockout but they'll probably still ko this dragon ball to be honest like we're probably not really we're attempting to stop them but it's probably not going to actually stop them you know uh they'll probably still get the ko on my active here but we're going to do our best and then, yeah we'll get the, we want to attack with the dracloak one as soon as possible so i can ordinary rod back the dracloak line or get the Dracloak with the uh, Dreepy and the uh, Dragapult. But we want the Dracloak to go down because it's so hard to evolve it out again that we really have to work pretty hard to do that, to be honest. Um, so we need to go down and then recover it because if we use four red candies plus one Dracloak, there's only five Dragapults. And it's possible in this matchup because it is a one prize matchup here going back and forth. We're going to need six Dragapults. So because of that yeah we need this dragon ball to actually go down as soon as possible so we can recover it and then get it back set up again and i think we'll be able to just about create six 
dragapults if we have get all of our pieces as well so if, if there's like a piece like a dragapult or a dreepy in like our last two prize cards we could be in trouble um about not be able to create six dragapults but our opponent also has to make six obstagoons i guess they could also attack with this inteleon with the aqua Bolt, like i mentioned they do have that water energy in there so with a raihan play they would be able to pull that off uh and also we're gonna have to make sure we keep attacking turn to turn here as well um so we have to like get through the first our, our, we have to keep attacking with dragapults we can't just like stop attacking with tagging with dragapults or anything like that and our hand is a little bit clogged right now our hand is clogged right now we have the energy constantly through the training court which is nice but we need to constantly find the dragapults which uh we're doing a couple great ball there's still plenty in the deck um and eventually what's going to kind of start to clog our hands is these bosses orders so i might have to just boss one of these turns just to try and be a little bit more aggressive to be honest every top deck an ordinary round but that's not a great top deck actually and yeah i think i maybe have to be aggressive with a boss here um i might just go try and KO that quick shooting inteleon try and take that out of play because my hand is just clogged so we need to draw some cards uh yeah bring up that inteleon here can't play this other ordinary rod yet we might need like i said we might need to make six dragapults oh no we can only draw one now only draw one card we're gonna need i mean a quick ball the drag the dragapult itself a quick ball air balloon let's just draw again okay only one card once again maybe i should put that on the active so i could retreat it there's the great ball though and we get the dragapult so we are attacking another turn how much longer can we keep this up attach and fusion strike assault yeah these these cards in the hand the double assault uh double battle vip pass assault double battle vip pass the training court are all clogging down the hand all right that's a playable card we can play the ordinary rod next turn once my opponent takes a knockout even if they take a knockout on like a genesect it's still ordinary rod just the genesect back uh and they keep going from there but yeah we need to find some cramomatics and some quick balls we only have one quick ball up we have three cramomatics left um so we need to find one of those to help thin out this hand as soon as possible because this is getting pretty clunky pretty fast so let's see we have three dragon pulse left so we have to recover a dragon pulse and a treepy um but we just not have enough to make we only have two more candy left though but we only make three more dragon pulse actually so we have so we need to recover a drag cloak and a dra a drag cloak uh just a drag cloak actually because if we have three dragon pulse left three dreepy left um so drag cloak and dreepy are, i think are the are what we should get well actually i'm not too sure what i want to grab here <laughs> off this ordinary rod we have the last Dreepy in the deck, I'm pretty sure. And then we have three Dragapult left. They're going to KO this Dragapult. So we'll have all the Dragapults we need. We have all the Dreepies we need. So we definitely need the Dracloak. And I'll probably get the Dragapult. Because Dragapult's a little bit harder to find than Dreepy. Um, yeah, and I actually didn't check my prize cards. So if we prize one over the other, we should get one over the other. But I didn't check my prize cards. On this turn, my opponent might go for a boss on the Genesect. Which would be kind of good for us, to be honest. Because it would give us kind of a turn off to... Uh, it was like a turn off where we don't have to set up a dragapult to be honest so i would not mind it if my opponent goes with the boss ko and the genesect here we'll see what they end up going with but yeah i would not mind it there's a marnie this is actually huge as well this resets our hand we do lose the ordinary rod uh, but hopefully i will get a search card and I get a little bit more information on my deck but we lose the double battle vip pass that hand was just so clunky there are those cramomatics i was talking about earlier let me check the hp on this 160 okay so we need a full bunch of ko of that as well yeah so thankfully the hand has been moved along we do have both chromomatics in hand though which we would like to combo them with the battle vip pass so it's kind of unfortunate the battle vip passes are kind of on the bottom of the deck to be honest um we'd much rather have them in our uh in our hand right now i guess you can't have all of it we get the chromatics or the battle vip passes but i'll start with the fog crystal i think the last three piece in there and i'll check the dragapult count and all that and we'll just make sure what we need to recover dracloak does have to be one of the recoveries for sure um, and then just, do I want to get a Dragapult or, uh, a Drac, or Dreepy? All right. Bond Crystal. And grab the energy here as well. Actually, I can grab the Dreepy. Three Dragapult. Three Dreepy. Dracloak, Dragapult are going to be the grabs off the Ordinary Rod. When we find it, we do have to find it first. Let's grab the Dreep. Play some Power Tablets. And I'm going to wait on these Cramomatics, I think. Because I want to combo them with... I could have combined them with the tablets, but I want to combine them with the battle VIP passes. Yeah, exactly like this. Uh, get rid of that. Got the heads. We can go ahead and gra go ahead and grab ourselves a Dragapult. Handy out the Dragapult. And we once again we want to attack with an undamaged Dragapult to force our opponent to ping it if they want to get the KO on that. Uh, we could boss the drizzle well we got to kind of go through well we could boss that drizzle to be honest and maybe they can't ping damage 
um, or even use the shady dealings and telling to find trainer cards. Maybe this is a better route to take here because they see an energy for this thing to attack. And this is in place. So we can't really stop their attackers from taking knockouts. Now, this thing can't KO Genesect, though. This, this, this Obstagoon can't. There is that. Um, all right, let's do some Pokemon. Like I said, we're going to get uh, Dracloak and Dragapult. Could not get the Dragapult. We could not get the Dragapult because we don't actually need this Dragapult, to be honest. But to increase our chances of finding Dragapult, I think we want it. So we're going to grab these two. And then I'll go ahead and draw some cards. We want to find the Dracloak this turn, ideally. Found it. That's actually a great pull there. Uh, we can draw one more card, I believe. I have how many tablets do I have left? Because I might need to. Ooh, we're actually out of tablets. I might need a tablet at the end of the game. Actually, with the bosses, we should be able to boss around. Okay, so I'm thinking about going for this boss play. It would also mean they can't quick shooting this turn. I think I'm gonna go for it. It just feels a little bit better. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna end up regretting this or not. This does mean with just a boss, they can KO this Genesect. Um, so maybe my opponent's able to end the game that way, to be honest. We'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give my opponent that opportunity, I guess, to be able to use the obstacle into boss KO. They're also down three Drizzile, so if they prize their last Drizzile, they're also down, I, I don't know, I feel like I know that they have something that they scoop up down the last turn. Now I'm just like not playing around it. They do have the boss. Played Marnie, drew cards. I don't think they like played a net or anything like that. Like I said, I didn't know anything about that. No pings available. Except with Zigzagoons. They got the boss KO on the Genesect. If I KO their active here with a Dragapult, there's an energy away from KOing with Obstagoon. So I think I have to actually go boss KO this Obstagoon. Oh, there's a Drizzile though. I feel like we're just, yeah, I feel like just, you know, us having the two prizes in plays caught up to us finally. My opponent was finally able to set up a play where they can KO one. I mean, maybe I should have KO'd this Obstagoon. I did talk about that. I like the idea of getting rid of their Drizzile there. And who knows, maybe they could have still set up another Obstagoon. They were down three rare candy though, so maybe they couldn't have set up another Obstagoon. Yeah, maybe I should just KO that Obstagoon there. I am starting to regret it a little bit, to be honest, seeing how it played out. I was like, well, maybe I knew this was coming. Could have also gone after the Sobble to stop the potential of a Drizzile. Uh, but I was a little bit more afraid of the Shady Dealings in Teleon. And to be honest, they had like just equal amount of outs there, it feels like to both of them. They had like, two Evolution Incense left. Which can find the Inteleon or the... And I don't know how many Shady Dealings Inteleon they play on, to be honest. They might play more of those anyways. Um, but on this turn, I feel like we have to go... You know, they have a Bruno in hand. They need to find like a Zigzagoon to get the knockout. I feel like we're just gonna... Oh my, what do we knock out here? This is a tough one. This thing's an energy away from it. I feel like it has to be this Obstagoon, right? We have to knock out this Obstagoon. But it feels like we're going to lose anyways here. Yeah, we have to knock out that obstacle, but it feels like we're going to lose anyways, I think for sure. But we'll play it out and see what ends up happening. Attach. Attach. Oh, I could have bossed first there. If I kill this, they should bring it. Yeah, we have to. We have, we have to kill this obstacle. Uh, we don't really have a choice. I don't think it gives us a chance. Tails. And we can draw the whole deck next turn. So I'm not going to draw everything right here. Just most of it. Sure. Candy out the Dragapult. Why not? Three Dragapults in play to close this one out. But I don't think it's going to matter. Fusion Strike System. Or Fusion Strike Assault. That's where I got the Assault from earlier. Fusion Strike Assault for the for the knockout here. But, like I said, my opponent needs very little to close this one out. They need a Zigzagoon. So if they just have a Pokemon Recovery card. A Scoop Up net to Scoop Up this Zigzagoon. They can even Scoop Up this thing. Uh, quick shooting Inteleon. Here comes the Evolution Incense. But this could even just find the Shady Dealings Inteleon uh, and help them out uh, by getting any of those other cards that I just talked about. So, uh, Or like Pokemon Recovery card to recover the goon and then, uh, you know, get it back into play. Like a, a Rescue Carrier here would work. There's a Raihan. Okay. And they're attaching to Inteleon. Okay, and there's the Zigzagoon. Okay, I wasn't sure if they were going to have it or not. I think they might have actually been out of level ball, to be honest. Yeah, out of level ball. I don't even know if they play quick ball, to be honest. They were out of level ball, though. So level ball couldn't find the Zigzagoon. But there it goes down. Yeah, our two prizes in play. We got the first prize card, but our opponent never really missed a beat from there. And they were able to take advantage of us having a Genesect in play, and that was kind of it. All right, here we go again. Another coin flip win, so that's a good start. But we saw in that last one, a good start doesn't always mean we're going to get the win. Uh, a lot of twos in this hand. Two quick ball, two boss, two Dragapult. And let's go ahead and let's see what we're up against here. Dark deck box. So we know that at the very least. Pretty good hand. 
uh as well with that drag look which we'd love to see early on uh getting that in play uh, getting that evolved is uh great we also can struggle to find it sometimes because we only play great balls we don't really play evolution incense or anything like that so it can be tough we're up against it to rally it on now this is a matchup i have found to be pretty good though Let's see if we can't find ourselves oof 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 actually our hand is just not moving uh <laughs> oof indeed okay let me take a quick look maybe just double dreeps Attach pass? Yeah, that was a no heads there was actually a bigger deal than I initially thought. But now that I see like what's going on, that was a pretty big deal for us to whiff that actually. Um Okay, I like double dreepy, I think. Because then if we top deck a red candy, red candy one, track hook to the other. Okay. We can still turn to attack, which is the important part. Uh we're up against Duraladon. Now it is the dragon Duraladon, which is not the main one people have been playing. They have a dark deck box, which makes you think they got the Houndoom, which means they're like a single strike Duraladon build, uh, which should be a little bit better of a matchup, to be honest, for us. The healing one, uh, I was having some close games against that one. We're coming out on top towards the uh, the end of them, usually, but uh, definitely close. They play, they do play some kind of healing, though. They play Suspicious food tin at the very least. You don't see that very often in general, <laughs> let alone with Duraladon. I wonder how many psychic energy they actually play. Maybe it's just the suspicious or the, the Aurora's the use of the suspicious food. Tid. Maybe they also play the single strike energy, like the rainbow single strike energy as well. A little bit curious now. All crystal top deck. Um, let's just get another dreepy here. Get the dreep. Throw it down. Um, if I evolve this one, I'm I, we can still attack this turn. It's just going to be a little bit harder. I was like, I was going to say, are we conceding that we're not going to attack this turn? Not quite. Oof. And is still really slow. I'm gonna boss up the Hound Tower and pass. Maybe it'll struggle to help. Maybe my opponent will struggle to actually attack this turn now. Uh, as we've been struggling to get going here ourselves. Need something to move this Cramo Cramatic along with. We'll finally get out of Dragapult guaranteed next turn. We will have the Dragapult online next turn, which is great. But if my opponent, like, I don't know, knocks out our Genesect, we just have no draw power next turn. And there's the switch into the Duraladon. Single strike, uh, single strike tower for two or tower of darkness. My man, they at least metal claws for 90. I'm not really scared of that. I'm scared of getting one hit KO'd. They need a V max, they need another energy though. They need an attachment. The breaking swipe wouldn't do enough, even with double, double single strike energy, would not do enough. They're also playing Gengar. Okay, a little bit of a single strike box here. It looks like the Gengar, the Duraladon, the usual suspects are the Urshifu. Okay, they did not get the knockout here. That's a, that's a big deal. Um, cram a matic away in ordinary rod. I don't love it, but we need some cards here. Another Genesect, I think. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I'm pretty confident we'll be able to find an air balloon. I don't need to search out the air balloon with the cram. I'd rather just get something in play that lets us draw a ton more cards. Be okay. It's more cards. Um, all this another genesect throw it on the air balloon throw it on the genesect play the fawn because i'm gonna save the chromatic for now because we if we get double tablet we actually ko this duraladon so i'd rather draw into a, a tablet and then chromatic for a tablet um definitely gonna well now we're just chromatic and hopefully getting the heads yeah that's a tablet that's a tablet that's a ko that's us in a pretty good spot um for the great ball Fail. Don't really want that. Tablet, tablet. Draw some more with this last Genesect. Could even boss KO the Gengar. But I'm down to remove this Duraludon from play, I think. I think I'm I think I'm okay with just KOing the Duraludon here. Or, I mean, this KOs us. Yeah, they KOs us either way. This one has more energy on it, so it's a little bit scarier, I guess. Um, but only recover a Dragapult. So I'm going to wait on that. All right, Great Ball. Dragapult. We can candy out this Dragapult. Keep things moving. Sometimes it's a little bit scary about chaining Dragapults, but this game, we're definitely chilling, going fine, cruising, knock out this Duraladon, and yeah, we get the first prize card here, and once again, we're a one prize deck, so if our opponents KO and Dragapults, we're always in a really good spot. Of course, sometimes they get to the point where they're not <laughs> KOing Dragapults, and of course, that can be a little bit scary, but yeah, it feels like we're in a really good spot as of right now. You find like a quick ball to move this along, got the boss option, going to try and two-hit KO this, Drago this Dragapult, this Gengar VMAX. And then just KO the Hound Team to close this one out and worry about to get a 
I gotta walk away with a dub here on this one, it looks like. Yeah, Kaelis Gengar V Max. Do we KO this? KO the Hound Doom. And then that's game. That's game over. And actually, no. I was like, wait, can we like one hit KO this thing? No, we're not even close to being able to one hit KO this Gengar V Max. Don't, don't listen to me. Uh, yeah, not even close. Not even remotely close, to be honest. All right, goodbye. Right, as long as we can find rare candies. Rare candies, I guess, is the one thing that we need at this point. And I don't know how many we have left. Um, because I didn't check my prize cards. Now I drew this boss though, which makes it oh no. Oh well, now I have to boss. I literally sent up my Genesect. All right, now we have to boss. I sent up my Genesect with the air balloon. <laughs> and they have a jammer on their Gengar V Max. So that doesn't work if you didn't know. Um but I have to play this first, anyways. Should you put two Pokemon? Because we could leave that in the discard pile for the training court. Creepy drag uh drag a pulp. We should have a at least one or two candy left in the deck for sure. We have two, that's all we need to be honest. So I don't really want to get Draculo yet. Well, maybe I do want to get Draculo to increase my chance of finding it before. I don't know where the last ordinary rod is though. We're gonna go like this. Rotom phone. Um quick ball on top. Draw one. Quick ball away, the battle VIP pass. Grab ourselves a Dreepy. Three rare candy in the deck. Okay. No ordinary rod, though. But that's enough. To, if we get that. So we won't be able to. We actually can only make three more Dragapults. So we're going to have to. We're living off three with Dragapults here. Uh, Fusion Strike System. More cards. Another rare candy. That's great. And then. I don't need really anything. I'm just going to draw two cards. We'll save the Rotom Phones for later. I just don't need anything specific. Treat. KO the Houndoom. And then look for a two KO on the Gengar V Max. But this is it because we well, I mean this last we'll get this last prize card. So if this is an ordinary rod, it's not an ordinary rod. So this is this is it. Three more Dragapults. We have to find all the pieces to create them as well. Um, I have to remember not to send up this Gengar or this Genesect anymore into the Gengar, or we will be in trouble because I won't be able to move it. <laughs> and hopefully my opponent doesn't even attempt to play like that. Uh, because actually if my opponent just bossed up a Genesect, we would just lose because we couldn't move it. Um, and we are decking out first, so we would just literally lose the game. So I think my opponent just doesn't attempt a play like that. All right, here we go for the two hit. Uh, set up the Dragapults. I almost sent up the Genesect, just kind of have it. Scott for your tree cross, send it up, right? Um, Dash's Genesect, Dash's Genesect, play the Fog Crystal. Grab, no, don't want the Dreepy. Play Training Court. We have two Training Courts so we can get energy back twice more. Any court recovering energy. Attach. Genesect for two. And then Rotom Phone. Um, you know, let's play the Ray Balls first. Good chance we have to find that. Okay. Just need to find the Rare Candy now. Gonna burn this one as well. Not gonna take anything off that one. Play one of the Rotom Phones. There's the Rare Candy. Uh, Genesect again. Candy out this last. Dragapult. Gonna play the Fog Crystal. I think I actually might take this Dreepy, though. No, I'm going to fail it right now because there is two Quick Balls left in the deck. So if I want to get to access one of those Quick Balls to get it, then I, I'll be able to. Uh, I wish you just drew into the Dreepy. So, all right, here we go. Fusion Strike Assault. Big hit. We need to hit it one more time, though. And like I said, we don't actually play a way to move our Genesex. So if my opponent is just like, I'm going to... Oh, I didn't expect that, to be honest. But we do have two tablets left so we should we still actually kill this only has 180 left that actually got scared me for like a second though i was like oh no but uh no we should just be fine actually they probably should have retreated their gengar there i'm just gonna hope i don't have the energy now this gengar is in the active i mean they could still get a switch card or something but i mean they're not two switch and an air balloon if they, they can't put an air balloon here because it's got a uh, tool jammer yeah i mean, they might just be stuck this gengar might just be stuck to be honest It might be stuck. Hold on. We'll see here. If it's stuck, we can just swing and win. Of course, if they do get that ball, like I keep mentioning the boss play. All right, there's no boss. They're digging with the research. Vital or earn a vitality. Energy's back. Great ball. Still haven't. I, they're still not moving this Gengar though. This Gengar is still in the active. Is it stuck? Is it staying? I wonder if they play any more healing. But we do still have two tablets left. So we can combat like 60 damage of healing. 
I was my opponent only KO'd three Dragon Pulse, but I'm only able to make... Like, I'm out of Dragon Pulse. Those Ordinary Rods didn't go very far, to be honest, in this one. I, do, I was a little bit aggressive with discarding stuff, but that's it. They take the knockout. They got 180 HP. We got a Dreepy. I guess they could have hoped they didn't have another bench Pokemon. But we do have the Dreepy, so that should be... I mean, 180, that's game. <laughs> we get the dub here with the Dragon Ball over the single strike box of my opponents. Uh, and that's going to do it for these games with the Dragon Ball deck. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it's a fun deck. Like I said, uh, it's a meme. It's not the best deck, but um, I do enjoy playing it. So I definitely want to share it with you guys. And after, yeah, playing 30 games with it on the stream the other day, I definitely felt like I should share it with you guys at the very least. And if you guys want to uh, play around with it, uh, it gives you a new deck to uh, mess around with uh, in this slightly stale format. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, join the content, and you're new. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell, and I will see you uh, in the next one.